In today's video, we're gonna show all the manufacturing processes from these basic materials all the way to this fully finished plush doll. And we're gonna even embroider it with the Machina logo. The first thing you need is an idea. So let's say I want to make a bunny. I'll start with a bunny face, a bunny body, some bunny feet, bunny arms. And I go to the factory and I'm like, this is what I want to make. So this is an example of a design that the factory can actually use to make their prototype. Now, the major part is that it has all the detail that they need to make the doll and it has the proportional dimensions. And a lot of times the design will also have the different colors of the different materials. Yes! Woo! Now I can enter the factory with a usable design. Hi, good morning. Hello. I am Susan Tai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Susan. Yeah. Welcome to Wizards of Factory. See? This our company's name, Animal Magic Ish Limited. We are not only a plush toy maker, but also we can make a magic toys. Magic toys. Yeah, <laughs> today it, it, it's a great pleasure to be a guide to show you how the plush toy is made. Let's start our tour this way, please. So basically what happens is the customer sends a file with a picture of what they want with the dimensions and the colors. Then Master Jung will look at this and he'll think about it. He'll figure out exactly how it will be constructed out of cloth. And then he'll need to think about the different triangular shapes typically that make up the 3D shapes. And he'll cut those out of paper. And the other thing is it looks like he's, uh, he does all this without a computer. This is all done in Mr. Jung's head. Jung Xuan Sheng. Well, you have a question. Uh, you like, how do you say it? You can do this, and you can do this, and you can do this, and you can do this. Right. Uh, so, uh, okay. so first he makes the small prototype and then he scales it up to make the big one. So after Mr. Jung makes this this set of patterns, what is the next step? The next one step will be the hand cutting or laser cutting. Oh wow. All right, let's see that. Show you. And now we're going to go to the factory. Right, boys. So Susan, what is the very first step that happens in the process of making a plush toy? Actually, when we receive the customer order, we will order the fabric first. But you see, this is our one corner of our warehouse. Uh, when we uh, purchase the, the uh, fabric, then our quality team will check the fabric quality and measure the fabric yards to see if our supply is cheating us or not. Wow, so this machine is really amazing. Yeah. It has a, a motor. Yeah, Let's see. So they can control the speed yeah. and then like an odometer that measures the length of the fabric and then it has these the light lights. to check the fabric color. Spectacle. Wow. All right, my turn. What could you do? Wrong one. Okay, how do Okay. 
Oh, the challenge goes up to Sassy. Can I take it? Can you do it? The, the challenge. Woo! Alright, now uh, 80%. 80%. Can you do 100? 100. Alright. Oh, that's the fastest. That's the fastest. <laughs> I can show you how we do the fabric weight test first. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <coughs> so here at the factory, they need to measure the weight of the fabric. But the problem is, as you can see, this is, you know, cut out in a kind of ragged shape. And if I was to try and cut it with scissors, it would still be pretty ragged. So I wouldn't be able to accurately measure the weight of the fabric based on, you know, the amount. So what they do is they have a special cutting die that can very accurately and consistently cut a known area of fabric. And this way, when they measure the weight, it's a known amount of fabric and they can accurately measure it. And then the other thing they do is they put the scale down here. They hide it under the shelf. So this way, there's no, if there's any breeze or wind in coming in through the window, it won't affect the measurement. And they can get a very accurate measurement of the weight of the fabric. And this way, they test the fabric. And they have a known weight for the fabric. And if it's within is it 5%, then the fabric is good to go. And they will start the manufacturing process. Oh, I broke it. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> so a, another really common problem is that the dyes used in the fabric will often rub off or wash off. So they want to test the quality of the dye, and they have this special testing machine for doing that. And the way it works is you place the fabric into the machine. And then there's a special finger right here that rubs the fabric, and they place one of these special white cloths over the end. And with this handy cranker, oh, let's see. With this machine, they will rub it 10 times. And after they rub it 10 times, they will pull off the white cloth and examine it to see if any of the dye has rubbed off. And to make sure they have an accurate system, they have a special color book. And they will compare the before and after to see if any color has rubbed off onto the test sample. Okay, so Susan, after we run all these tests and we think the fabric is ready to go, mm -hmm. what do we do next? The next step is for cutting. All right, I want to see how you do this. Yeah, over there, follow me. See, here is our cutting depart department. Now the workers are laying the fabric down. Uh, normally, based on the fabric type, we lay the fabric wow. in 10 layers. And there's an electronic scissors to cut the fabric. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, ha, ha. Okay. Ha, ha. Okay. Bang, bang. All right, here we go. We gotta get this ready. Here we go. This is this is awesome. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh. There we go. That is awesome. Okay, so after they lay the material out, mm -hmm. then what is the next step after this? The next step is they will fold the fabric and uh, transport to here. And load it onto one of these yeah. cutters. Before they start the cutting, they will select the right steel mold. They, normally they will put the steel mold on the fabric, then push that Green button start cutting. Alright. Wow. So this is a cutting this is the cutting die and it has a blade around the edge that is made to the exact shape of the pattern that they want to cut. Let's see, we have to do it this way. Alright, am I doing it? Ooh, he's got a really clever pattern where he's fitting everything together. Alright. So we push this in. And this machine looks like it, according to the label, it has 30, 30 tons of pressure. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. So this machine right here, as a, a safety measure, you have to use two hands to press the button. So if you just press one, 
it won't work. So you got to use two hands. And I've I've seen some other factories where they just use one hand and they just press with one hand. And this is often a problem because then a lot of times your hand is in the machine yeah, totally when you press the one button. So this is a safety measure. Always keep your two hands outside. Watch out, I'm going to press the button. Ah! <laughs> Susan, after we cut out all the pieces of the pattern, mm -hmm. what happens next? Then we'll collect all fabric patterns pass to our sewing for assembly them together. So now we have to put the pieces together. I assume you have an army of robots ready to do that. Yeah, uh, you see, here's I was sewing a, a section. So many sewing workers are doing sewing. Oh, okay, not robots, people. This is hard work. I'm wondering, will you have a try? Here's my chance, prove myself. <laughs> Can Tully Let's make it see. in China? <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Then on, and, and then forward. Okay. Okay. Woo! So fast. This thing is awesome, powerful. Hey, are those fighting words? Okay. And then, like this, and then it cuts it. Ooh. This is our Machina rabbit that's inside out and we just need to sew the last pieces okay uh, okay 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 so julie julie da kai ma and then dao dao julie ma okay Oh, is that right? Okay. To do this correctly, you need to sew exactly five millimeters from the edge. So if you look at the quality of my work, you can see I have a lot of improvement to do. The basic parts are much easier, and then there's a, a bunch of features on this doll that make it more complicated. So the small cuff is quite a bit of trouble for them. These hands are surprisingly difficult. It actually has two pieces two separate pieces of fabric inside the hand to give it more shape. So that adds quite a bit of complexity. And then these ears have filler material to make them stand up. And that makes them much more complex than if they were just simple pieces of material. All right, Susan. Yes. Up on the second floor, mm -hmm. we just had everything sewn together. Yes. But it's looking kind of strange. Mm -hmm. Please explain what part happens next. The next step will be to turn the toy skin out. Maybe you can try. Okay, all right. <laughs> At this time, I'm a young grasshopper. I need to be taught by the great master. Yeah, just sit, sit here. Oof. Okay. Show us how it's done. Shifu, Oh, wait. I I'm inside out. I got one arm. Okay, the other arm. I think I broke mine. <laughs> okay, second arm. No, it's not even right. <laughs> okay, where, where are we? Leg. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Woo, woo. Woo. I think it's not broken. I don't know. <laughs> So now I've got my approval sample and I'm looking at it and I notice that there is uh, some colored printing of some kind and there's also like colored sewing. This part we call applique embroidery. Uh, we do the heat printing by this machine. 
we put the right background fabric about that machine, then printing these dark red lines. Wow. You can see our operation. All right, it's steaming away right now. Yeah. Be careful, the temperature is very high, about 2,500. 2,500 degrees? <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's 246 degrees. You see, the principle is like that. We first print out the logo on the paper. Then the paper's logo will be transferred into the fabric during the high temperature. This is whole process. So on this roll of paper, they've already printed the pattern onto it. And so now the paper is brought together with this cloth and then heated and then the ink transfers from the paper onto the cloth. And now this is the paper with the ink you know, faded because the ink is transferred off of the paper and now it's transferred onto the cloth below. So this is now flexible cloth. <coughs> what does it smell like? It smells like ironing, like when you're ironing clothes. So here we can see this printer has got these containers of ink, and then it's doing pretty much a standard ink printer process of putting ink on the paper. And it's putting quite a bit of ink on there, and then rolling it up down here. And it has all these fans to help dry the ink out. So this is a really cool example of a laser being used to cut fabric. Here they've done the sublimation heat transfer process. They've already printed these like leaf patterns. And then when they, they put the material into the laser and they know where the cutting area is going to be marked by this laser right here. This laser puts down this little laser line. And so they, they put the fabric here. And then this camera takes a picture of the printed area and it will use its computer intelligence to cut right on the line. So it'll do a, a perfect cut of the leaf. So this right here is an application embroidery process. And what they do is they will sew just a little circle so they know where the location is, and then the operator will place a piece of fabric down, and then it will, the, machine, the embroidery machine will embroider on top of that. So embroider the X and then the yellow circle. But today I'm the customer, so we're going to embroider the Machina logo. And just earlier, they went to embroider it on the material, but the location was wrong. And this is like a classic problem when using automated machinery. You can program all this on the computer, but then the operator has to line everything up, and that can be a bit of trouble. So now, what we're going to do is sew the outline of the material so we can see where to put it first. And this time, Hopefully we'll get it embroidered on the center in the right location. polystyrene and then makes it more fluffy so they can put it into the dolls. Woo it's a party! So they, it seems they get their polyester in these big bales and then they load it into the hopper and then it goes up the conveyor belt and it starts to fluff the material and there's like a giant blower that blows the polyester through the pipes. And it travels all the way over here to another kind of fluffing machine. And you can see the polyester is like blowing around inside. And then it comes out of these tubes. And here's where they, here's where they stuff the dolls. They put the dolls on here and they fill them with polyester. All right, I hope this is the... <laughs> Woo! Look at here it is. Woo! All right, here's one of these poor dolls. Oh 
I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. Oh no! I've clogged the machine. <laughs> I got it. Yes! Yes! I got it! So now most of the doll is complete. It's been sewn, it's been stuffed. Everything looks perfect except for the, the hole where we put the stuffing in. So now this part has to be sewn. Now, sadly, out of all the technology in this factory, nothing can sew this hole shut other than a human. So now comes the hard work of sewing it by hand without any modern technology. The only way to do it is by hand. <laughs> Woo. I feel the pressure. All the experts are watching me now. All right, I haven't poked myself yet. Okay. 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 How beautiful! So beautiful. It's not time. Oh. All right, so after the doll is stuffed with the stuffing, there's this process which I had never seen before that some people refer to as massage, where they move the stuffing through the, through the doll with this needle. And uh, so here's like a little Dungguan massage right here. We're trying to get the stuffing into the feet. Ladies oh, maybe before. our factory will be closed tomorrow. <laughs> <You're too> <laughs> <laughs> this doll. Oh, where are these? Well, yeah, we're like, oh. like, oh. like my <laughs> Okay. So now the, the fiber has fully filled the feet. Susan, so yes. is this doll completely finished? Is there anything else that needs to be done? Uh, one last step is this toy is need to be checked by our co-C. Our co-COC wears the yellow uh, uniform. After ah. they judge the toy, the shape is okay, then we pass to our packaging team. I want to see the place where they test all the toys. Sure, the... Uh, let's go to the first floor to check. Okay. What exactly is happening here? Fiber uh, on the surface of the toy, they need to make sure the uh, toy without any extra fiber outside, so they will right. to blow out. Perfect. Make it clear. I think I could use it right yeah. now. Uh, I think I could yeah, use it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> 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 All right, it worked. So Susan, what is yeah. the purpose of this uh, conveyor belt right here? Uh, actually, that machine uh, is for testing whether the toy contains any needle. You know, the toy uh, uh, is made by sewing, sewing so uh, we need to make sure there is no any broken needles inside of the toy. So that metal detector can do the final test to make sure the toy is safety. If the toy contains any metal, or such as a needle, then the machine will sound a beep, beep, beep. Wow. So all it took was this extremely small piece of metal. I think it's like smaller than a pinhead, 1.2 millimeters of iron and the metal detector detected it and stopped it from going to the next room. So what are we doing in this room right now? After the toys pass the metal detector, we can do the final process to pack the toys into poly bag or display box. 
something like that. So it looks like they're doing a little bit of QC just before they put it in the bag. Is that correct? Yeah, we have one online QC to make sure our package is correct. For example, to check the toys with the swing ticket or not, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, make make sure no extra uh, uh, no extra accessory is okay. missing or something like that. Wow, what a great day. Thank you so much, Susan. I was so impressed by all the high-tech machines and the amazing workers with their incredible skills of operating the sewing machines and sewing with their hands. It was amazing. And thank you for my own machine a rabbit. I even got to top it off with a workout with the ladies, which I'm still cooling down from. Thank you so much, Susan. It's been an incredible day. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I hope you enjoy your tour. Also, I'm looking forward to receiving your big amount of order in future. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta start my marketing program right now. And goodbye to Animal Magic. It's been an amazing day. And I hope to see you all guys again in the studio. Here at Animal Magic, they've made dolls in the likeness of so many famous people. I want to hear your crazy ideas of who we should make a doll of and where we should send it. I want to hear your crazy ideas in the comments, the one with the most likes. We're going to try and make it happen. And like and subscribe.